Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ibn Izamakwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair um, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning I want to um, talk about something that could be a little bit sensitive. And I'm sure everyone has been through uh, something like that before. And uh, that is especially leadership, you know, um, I like to call it um, lonely places. I was reading Jeremiah uh, 15 verse 17, and if you remember Jeremiah, Jeremiah is one of my, my interesting heroes of, of the Bible. Um, you know, Jeremiah, God spoke to Jeremiah and told Jeremiah, hey, before you were in your mother's womb, I knew you and I called you. Wow, I mean, I wish a prophetic declaration I come like that, you know, to me. Well, anyway, but that's a fact. I mean, uh, before we were in our mother's womb, he always he knew us. So we predate our mother and our dad's relationship, uh, the beginning of their, uh, the genesis of their relationship. That's what God is saying. So in, in Jeremiah 15, 17, there is a very powerful uh, thing there. And then Jeremiah made that statement. But immediately he made that statement. When I read it, I was like, wow. Wow. Look at what he said. He said, in, in the course of his ministry, in the course of doing what God wants him to do, in the, in the course of fulfilling his purpose here on this earth, he came to a place and he said, I sat alone. Oh, wow. I sat alone. He said, at that particular junction of his life, he sat alone. And that means there was nobody else. So Jeremiah was saying, I sat alone. That means I didn't have company. Number two, I didn't have encouragement. Number three, I didn't have approval. Number four, I didn't have applause. And number five, I, 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 I was down. You, you, you could see a very mournful tone. You could see a very mournful tone that he's telling God, I sat alone. He's telling people, there's no one else with me. See, there's, there's a burden of leadership. And there's a burden sometimes uh, some, uh, in leadership, th there are certain junctions you would come to where you would be alone. Now, I know you're going to have a problem with it because we all remember God said it is not good for any man to be alone. But I can tell you that sometimes in our walk with God or in our walk with this thing, you come to junctions where there's no one you are going to talk to. There's no, going to be no encouragement. There's going to be no applause. There's going to be no comfort. There's going to be no um, company. And there's going that you are just going to be on your own. Now, it is very important what, what, what you do. Look at what Jeremiah is saying. I sat alone. So what, what, what am I going to do with those times? First of all, I need to acknowledge that there will be lonely moments. Or there will be lonely places in ministry. And not just lonely places in ministry. Lonely places in leadership. Not just lonely places in leadership, but sometimes lonely places in our walk of life. Sometimes you wouldn't have the people that you want around you. Or sometimes the, the applause will not be, be heard. Or sometimes the approval may not be, be, be felt. Or sometimes the, the, um, the encouragement is not going to come. And sometimes the comfort is not going to come. Jeremiah said, I sat alone. So in, in, in life... You need to appreciate that there's going to be moments where you're going to be celebrated, moments where everybody's going to gather, moments where everybody's going to be jumping and where you hear the applause loud, you hear the approval being shouted across the, uh, from the housetops. You would hear all those other things. But you must also make room in the agenda of your life for lonely places, places where there will not be anybody there. I mean, Jesus Christ had quite a moment like that in the Garden of Gethsemane. He was always surrounded by a crowd. But in the Garden of Gethsemane, he sat alone. It was just him alone. He took people to go and pray with him, but they slept. So you, you need to understand. And it is, it is a fact of life. And uh, your, your, your ability to appreciate those moments, 
and not to do anything darn silly or something like that is a test of your maturity. Now, imagine I sat alone, but I didn't abdicate on my responsibility. I sat alone, but I didn't, I didn't uh, run away from my duty. I sat alone. I didn't go back upon God. I sat alone. I didn't, I didn't threaten God. I didn't do anything silly. Listen, I sat alone. It, it were moments of reflection, moments of deep thought, moment, moments of intimacy with God and not with men. So learning how to appreciate your lonely places, learning how to, how to um, sit in the solitary and say to yourself, even though I am alone, I am truthfully not alone because God is with me. Jeremiah said, I sat alone. What you do with when you sit alone is a test of your maturity. See you the next time.